half past one in the afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, it is Sunday today and the best thing about this Sunday is we have absolutely no plans. There's no football, there's no football training, no one's got to be any, anywhere while well, Lilia's at work. But that's it. Um, and yeah, no plans. I have got a very small list. It says I've got to do a thumbnail and schedule my vlog that's going up on Tuesday on my other channel. I haven't done that yet, but I can always do it tomorrow. I've got to pay my tax bill because I have to pay in advance, so and that's due um, at some point. But again, I might just do that tomorrow. And I need to publish the vlog that's going up today, and I've already done that. Well, no, I haven't done that. I've scheduled it for later. And that is it. Everything's fairly clean and tidy. Oh, I do have to hoover our bedroom as well. And I am going to do that today. I'm not putting that off till tomorrow, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to get my very cold can of Diet Coke out of the fridge. I'm going to put my earphones in and I'm going to go and watch some YouTube and do some crafting. I did a little bit of work on my crochet blanket this morning, but my hands were getting really hot and sweaty. It's an acrylic yarn project and I don't think that helps. And I've only got a few more rows to do before I think it's going to be ready for the border. So I think I am going to try and press on with that. It's a lot, it's still 27 degrees today, but it's completely cloudy. So there's no sun beating through the windows and it feels so much better. If you can hear gurgling, it's the dishwasher. Gurgling and whirring. Um, so I'm gonna try and put those rows on and then see the size of it to see if I think it's ready for the border. And then I want to work on my April cardigan, which I'm making for the woodland walk along. Um, so I really, really want to do that and not put it off because what happens is I tend to get started on a garment and get really away with it and then I start to second guess everything like am I doing it right have I you know am I integrating the different yarn schemes right am I using the right needles am I sure my am I sure the gauge is okay is this going to fit is it going to look and I just start to really question everything about it and it puts me off working on it but really I should just crack on with it and find out and the more I make and the more experience I get, the more I'll be able to answer those questions and the more I'll be able to do. And so I need to get out of my head with that. Probably not the best of angles with the light behind me, but you would have just seen me putting down the blanket. I have now completed, let's have a look. Uh, so I've got five color, five, I've got five parts to my color sequence and I've worked each part three times. So <laughs> that is 25 times three, so it's 75 rows, I think. And um, I think it's the perfect size. I think if it goes any bigger, because um, I'm gonna put the border on it as well, I think if it goes any bigger, it's gonna be too big. So I just lay on it and it'd be the perfect size, you know, for having on the bed. When I lie down, I could put it right up to my armpit. I think that's perfect and the border will add um, even more length to it so I think I think we're ready for the border.
just gone half past five. I've had a good hour and a half sitting here working on my uh, April cardigan. It's been slow going though because part of it was really I could really get into my head and I'm on now the last bit of before I split for the sleeves. Um, so I've got about uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rows to do of um, classic raglan increases backwards and forwards and I'm struggling to get the pattern of doing the make one left make one right increases on the pearl sections I can do them I don't have trouble doing them it's just I have to check the pattern every time I get to them to remind myself which way around it is going um, I remember I had to do that earlier on in the pattern and it did kind of click a bit but yeah, it slowed me down a bit, but I'm now, yeah, about 12 to 14 rows away from splitting for the sleeves. So it doesn't look like I've done a great deal, but for me, that's quite a lot. I'm, I'm a relatively slow knitter. I also had to rip back a bit and because I realised that I'd um, mispositioned some of my increases. So I had to sort of just dip down a bit and sort that out. But I think I, I can't actually see where it was. I did that, so I've obviously done an okay job doing it. So I had to solve that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. But I'm getting hot and sticky now, so it's the right time for me to carefully pop this away. And I've got to start cleaning down the kitchen and getting ready to prep for dinner. Just move the camera slightly so I can get the pattern that's underneath it. Uh, yes, I wish I could sit here for hours and just do this one. Got to go and do boring things. But I'm not feeling particularly well, I have to admit. I'm feeling a bit odd. I've drunk plenty of water, I've had plenty of fruit and veg. Oh, I've really been fancying some apple and cheese. So if I don't fancy dinner, because I'm not feeling terribly hungry, but I'm not going to do dinner for about an hour, then I might just have apples and cheese. I can hear Dan coming home with Lilia. Corn. And corn, red cabbage, onion, broccoli, a tiny bit of red pepper. I forgot to put carrots in and adami beans. I could actually just eat pickled cabbage mm. for the rest you of the You need to make a pig bean liquor, put it in a jar, chuck in the and cabbage. Okay, it's about 10 past seven. Let me just move down shorts out of the way. And I'm in my bedroom because around this time of evening, I like to come upstairs with a cup of hot water and lemon or hot milk or a squash or a fizzanti and read my book for half an hour. I finished my book last night that I was reading and I'll do an update on that on my other channel and now I'm going to start this one which was a bit of a last minute addition to my pile of books quite a chunky old one actually got it second hand from World of Books it's set in Spain someone I follow um, had mentioned it thought I'd give it a go anyway I'm standing here without any pajama bottoms on so I want to show you I've got this pair of pyjama bottoms and I have another pair which I actually prefer, which are a similar shape. Okay, these are so old. Um, they've got, a, look at the hole. I mean, I could easily fix this hole. It's just a rip in the seam, but I've just never got around to it. So what I love about these, 
is the shape. The shirred waist, is that what it's called? Shirred. And the shirred ankles. Um, I really like that. I've never been able to find another pair and I want to make myself some. So if I wanted to make my own, there must be someone watching this who's done that. Would I just turn them out inside out and sort of work out the pattern, sew them together? And then if so, how do I then know how to, how do you know how tight to make your shirring? I suppose you just pull it, don't you? And then, anyway, any tips? If you know of a pattern that exists or if you have made your own pattern out of an existing piece of clothing, let me know. I am a very inexperienced sewer. So after this point, I settled down and read my book and it was very nice. And then I just didn't pick the camera up again. I'm really sorry. I didn't actually do any other crafting. I just sat and did some doodling in my sketchbook. It was all I had the brain power for, but I still like to keep my hands moving and my uh, creative energies busy. Uh, so this was the perfect way to spend my evening. So I will say goodbye and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.